Hi guys, it's Angela here at Tailtop and Antics. Um, just wanted to have a little kind of video message today about um, using the use of muzzles and halties on dogs. Um, we've just had to refuse a dog this morning for grooming um, because we couldn't get anywhere near it with the muzzle. And I just wanted to kind of explain the process, what happens when we start putting things on dogs' faces when they're not comfortable. Um, I'm sure, as many of you know, when you get a puppy and you go to put one of these on them, a lovely collie there's a the puppy little set so cute as soon as you put that around the dog's neck what do they do they're scratching to get it off and that's because they feel uncomfortable now we tend to have a tendency to kind of put these things like the muzzle straight onto a dog's face or even the halter which is a classic example they go go put it straight on the dog's face and immediately they go to pull it straight off why is that they're just they're just not used to having it on the face and and some dogs see that as a punishment that you put in something that's quite restrictive on the face. They don't understand that it's for your safety, maybe, if you're wearing the muzzle, or their safety. Or this is to kind of stop your back from being pulled out. But the dog needs to feel comfortable when they're wearing something like these on the face. Now, a lot of the time when I'm working with a dog that's got a behavioural issue, I try and not use a muzzle in terms of the grooming because that can actually push a dog over the edge and um, they go through kind of different stages to say whether they're unhappy and when you're working with a dog it ne they need to be under what we call a threshold of being able to con cope and control you know the dog's own behavior now what i try and explain is this we've got the scales now if a dog has a bad experience every time it's being groomed or goes to the vets or on a walk the bad experiences are going to far outweigh the good ones. And what we as a nation are great at is remembering bad experiences and not the good ones. Dogs are exactly the same. They'll remember the bad experiences and they'll far outweigh the good ones. So every time we stick one of these on the dog's face and it's telling us it's not happy, we're going to make it a bad experience. It's going to remember it and it's going to stick right in its memory every time. So as soon as we come to a point, you know, pick this up, the dog's going to immediately remember all the experiences from the vets you know, um, even though it was put on for its own safety. But what we need to look at doing is desensitising these items so the dogs feel comfortable wearing them. So if you're going to put this straight on a dog's face, you know, if someone put that on my face, I'd take it off straight away because I don't, don't feel comfortable wearing it. So what we need to do is look at training dogs on how to accept these. And it's a really easy process, and I'll do it in a separate video. But what you're looking at doing is pairing this with a really good experience. And it's not about just fucking straight on the face. It's about pairing up a nice tasty treat or maybe um, a ball game or something like that that makes the dog understand that this is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not a punishment. And then we're halfway there to achieving what it is that we're looking to gain in the, in the long run. See you in my other videos and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.